Now at five, a large street party on Juneteenth ended with five people shot in Anderson. One of them has now died. As CBS 4's Max Lewis reports, city leaders are calling for changes to prevent more violence. What started as a Juneteenth celebration this past weekend ended with five people shot, one of them killed here near 16th and Madison. This is the second homicide in just three weeks here in Anderson, and both killings happened within one mile of one another. New video shows the massive Juneteenth party before the shooting began. The Madison County prosecutor says the video shows Anderson police struggling to control the hundreds of people in the street, even as one woman used the hood of a police cruiser as a dance floor. I've never seen this kind of lawlessness ever. Prosecutor Rodney Cummings says the party led to two shootouts only a few hours apart. Of the five people shot, 24-year-old Landon Hill was killed, and another man remains in critical condition. It's killing me that he's not walking in my door like he usually do. Landon's grandmother said she believes Landon was targeted because of a dispute from years ago. She's hoping anyone who knows anything will come forward. Even though it was Landon, it could have been one of y'all's. The violence don't stop anyway. She wishes people would put the guns down and stop the killing. And hug your kids every day. Tell them you love them. Cause you don't never know. Anderson police said officers have interviewed nearly everyone involved and hope to close the case soon. Landon's killing is the second homicide in the city in less than three weeks. Earlier this month, the prosecutor says a stray bullet fired during a shootout killed 26-year-old Kiara McAuliffe. Gun violence in this country is an epidemic. It's an absolute epidemic. Cummings blames backed up courts and rotating doors at jails for the increase in crime. Adding people's behavior and valuing the sanctity of life is what needs to change. I'm fearful. I really am. I'm fearful where this is headed. Anyone with any information on these crimes is asked to give Anderson police a call. We'll have that contact information for you over on our website. In Anderson, I'm Max Lewis, CBS 4 News. Max, thank you.